Hello and welcome back. If you're new, I review books, movies, TV shows, miscellaneous every Tuesday, sort of. I'm gonna be better this year, I promise. Also, happy belated Martin Luther King Jr. Day and happy early inauguration day to the United States. Today we're gonna to be talking about Becky Albertalli's novella, Love Creekwood. I just got this for Christmas. Whipped through it in one sitting. Before we get into the spoilery stuff, it is a novella, which means it's not like a full novel. It's also epistolary, which means it's told through email interactions. This book is cool because it basically shows us what happened after Love, Simon, as well as Leah on the offbeat. So it's cool to see our favorite characters in a new stage of life. They've gone off to college. I love that. Okay, now we're going to be getting to spoiler territory. So if you haven't read this novella yet, come back when you have. I have to say I really love this novel. I will admit that I haven't read Leah on the Offbeat, but I don't think you need to necessarily have read it to read this book, although it does contain spoilers for that book, so be aware. What I really loved about this novel is how it was told in emails, and yet we're still able to really get a feel for what college is like for each of our main characters. I also just thought that this is such an important topic because there is that sense of loneliness and like adapting to change your first couple months in college especially when you're not in college in the same area as your friends I just think that's such an important topic to talk about and I just really appreciated that especially the part about how you feel kind of guilty if you're having fun because you know are, are your friends having fun or you feel bad if you're lonely because it's like you don't want to make other people feel bad that you're lonely and there's just like a lot of layers and it also talks a lot about like unexpected friends that you make in college which is also fantastic so subject matter wise amazing i also thought the characters were really true to who the characters are which is also amazing i'm gonna be honest i don't always love novellas and i loved this one like i will probably read it again which doesn't that's not usually happening for me the Short Life of Brie Tanner, I did not like that. Okay, but I did like Sarah J. Mass's like little Christmas novella, so I guess sometimes I like them, but I don't usually like them. I'd say that's the exception, not the rule, but I would suggest this book. I thought it was excellent. I also just really like the color design. I feel like this yellow like really pops, and the title Love Creekwood, because it kind of goes with the Love Simon theme, but it is within the Creekwood universe, so just a very fitting title. All in all, an amazing book. I loved it. Have you read this book? Do you think I should read Leah on the Offbeat? Please leave a comment below. As always, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. We are all friends here. I'd love to hear from all of you. I'll see you next Tuesday. Today we're going to be talking about Becker. Becker. Today we're going to be talking about Becky Albertalli's. Today we're going to be talking about Becker. Blah, blah, blah. So it is within the creek world, creek world.